Welcome back to SA Live. Healthy eating doesn't have to be hard. You can still have the flavor and color without all the calories. Registered dietitian Priscilla Reyna is here to show us a healthy recipe you can make at home and you get two recipes out of one, right? But yes. first we'll talk mm -hmm. about the positive food relationship and Mike, of course, is going to be our taste tester over there just having some fun, right? I know. Easy job. So. <laughs> but that relationship and knowing yes. like it's okay to include a little bit of everything, yes. right? Yes, yeah. So mm -hmm. a positive food relationship is making sure that you incorporate all the different food groups. So definitely try not to eliminate like a whole food group or a whole macro group, making sure you're getting enough nutrients for your day. Okay, because mm -hmm. that is the important part, the yes. nutrients. Yes, Okay, mm -hmm. and it still tastes so good. Yeah. So how do we get so, started on this? So what we'll do is we're going to use some basic um, recipe, uh, ingredient items, sorry. So we have black beans, corn, and we're going to turn them into tacos and nachos. That way anybody in the family can enjoy them at any time in the day. Okay. Um, so if you want to, you can pour just a little bit of the olive oil into the pan, and then we will um, add the other ingredients in. Yep, so that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can go ahead and scoop some of the black beans into the... There and you I go. love mm -hmm. black beans. Yeah. What, do they, what do they add? What kind of nutrients? So the good um, um, items in the black beans are the fiber component and that it is a good um, protein um, option that you can also have. So it's a great way to also do like meatless options. So this does provide you all the good protein that you need. Yeah, so you can get the protein in it without thinking like, oh, I'm just eating a bunch of veggie or I need to get something else in. Yes. Plus, like it you said, help. with all the fiber, that's going to yeah. fill you up, too. Yes. So the protein-fiber combination helps fill you up. That way, you're not looking to try to eat a little bit more throughout or after the meal. That's yep. because mm -hmm. sometimes you eat something that uh, it fills you up, but it doesn't last that long. Right. So this will kind yeah. of stick with mm -hmm. you for a long time, And especially time, right? with yours. So you have a whole wheat tortilla. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole grain, whole wheat is a complex carbohydrate. So that will help um, with the breakdown. It's a little slower. Um, that way you're not just taking in all the energy and it's being used right then. It'll kind of sit, take its time in the um, GI. Oh, so, yeah. it's, so it's kind of a one-two punch with the, yeah. the fiber filling you up and then, yep. the, like you said, the whole mm -hmm. wheat complex. So these are whole wheat okay. right here. Yep. So, so these I just are whole wheat. Yep. So okay. go ahead and you can just flip, flip them, them again. Yep, yeah. you can okay. add them. So if you want, you can always... Um, the, this is the um, foundation of it. It's just the black beans and the corn. You can definitely so cook them. Yep, super simple. And I use um, low sodium uh, or no salt added corn or oh, black good. bean. Yep. So. I can't really tell the difference whenever I buy that. You yep. know, so it's good to go with the no mm -hmm. sodium, obviously. And then it's really okay. just the seasoning. So you can definitely season with some garlic powder. Okay. Use you that know, and then use some cumin as well. And the one nice thing about this taco is there's not, it's mm. just the, the few oh, simple uh, ingredients on mm -hmm. here. But yeah. the combination of them, and you yeah. can really taste the, the freshness yes. and the different textures, different mm -hmm. individual little flavors. Yeah, so the great um, way to add flavor um, is to, you can use avocado, which is heart-healthy fat. You can use red onion, which makes a beautiful color, and Ooh. it looks really nice on the nachos or in the taco. Put cilantro and lime, and uh -huh. when you squeeze the lime, that helps enhance the flavor for anything. Um, so that way, if you are trying to do like a low sodium or... Um, trying to just kind of restrict the amount of different ingredients, you can definitely use lime, and that helps enhance so the flavor. So you have workshops to teach people all of yes. this. Mm -hmm. uh, we can talk a little yeah. bit about that, too, because mm -hmm. people can actually sign up, and you teach yes. them everything, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, okay, so then also what we can do, so once we kind of have that, uh -huh. we can cut up um, some of the uh, cilantro. And then I already have the lime here. Okay. And if you want to cut, so I use um, like the queso panela. So instead of using melted cheese, I kind of use like a shredded okay. um, cheese. And that way it kind of pops the color a bit. Ooh, that looks yeah. good too. And you're getting a little bit of everything here. So some people maybe want to eliminate all carbs, but here you're saying it's good to have yeah. the balance and maybe get rid of that mentality or right. you're just always yeah. on this so, diet. Yeah, kind of letting go of that dieting mentality mm -hmm. rather just like incorporating and including more foods um, is a little easier for someone to think about um, if they're trying to change up lifestyle or whatever mm -hmm. their health goal may be. Because mm -hmm. um, I know it can be kind of frustrating when you're you trying to eliminate. Instead of just dicing up a regular tomato mm -hmm. is using the cherry tomatoes yeah. cut in half. First of all, the texture thing, but mm -hmm. they just have a certain little bit of a zing to them. You know, mm -hmm. that, it's better than a regular, just a regular old vine ripened tomato. Yeah. Okay. So you have the ones you like, but you also do like Mike loves the tomatoes, but if mm -hmm. you do nutrition counseling, so maybe yes. people who aren't as educated and maybe want to try right. some other things? Mm -hmm. Is that part of the counseling? Yes. Yeah. So I really like to do, um, I like to figure out a way for someone what they like to eat um, and incorporate it that way. So that way, um, that's why I usually kind of do, let's do tacos, let's do nachos. That's very common in like San Antonio. So we'll try the tacos first. So go ahead and you can put the is corn. And yep. Okay. 
You can put that in more. there. Okay. Yep. I would have never thought to make, I mean, the beans like and this then, with the corn. Mm -hmm. So it smells so good. I think that, that seasoning way. really helped out too. Okay. And then you can put that one right there. Okay. And then we do have, oops. So you're going to finish simple. plating. Yeah, the lime. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. have more of her information on salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab, and we're going to finish off with the nachos here. Yep. Thank you so much again. She has yes. all that information, workshops, counseling, mm -hmm. all available. Just head to our website and click the tab.